So we have Figsy, the Figsy situation. Now again, I don't want this to be a hate video against anyone, but uh, I think if you take a dog and you put yourself out there as a dog savior, hey look, I rescued a dog. I think that's awesome people rescue dogs and don't buy from breeders, but let's be honest, with Figsy was targeted because she was an Italian Greyhound and someone wanted a bit of a shout out, a bit of recognition from another famous YouTuber who also has an Italian Greyhound. And it almost seems like that once that shout out was achieved, then um, Figsy sort of served her purpose. Just like Figsy's, uh, Figsy came from a, actually Figsy, her original name was Ruby, and she was an Italian Greyhound from Brisbane. She was a breeding bitch, she was a show dog. So she was basically put in a crate, aka dog, doggy prison, and put in a cage, and just, you know, she just had pups and they were sold. And then once she sort of reached her use by point, she was put out there. And put on the market, and uh, she was taken in by us. And I, I said to, I said to Freely, I said, look, having a dog is a huge responsibility. You know, it's a big responsibility. Are you sure you want to do this? You know, you, you get a dog, you, you keep him for a long, long time. This is not like you know our next neighbour just died all of a sudden, and we look over the fence and there's this little dog, and like, no one's going to care for it. We're like, okay, so we'll take the dog in, we'll find it somewhere else. Freely's like, no, no, I want a dog. You know, I want to commit, I want a dog. I said, you sure? You know, like it's, you know, she's like, I want a little, you know, a little Italian greyhound like Jenna Marbles got. And I said, cool, and, and the Figsy came up as like a rescue option. So I was like, okay, it seemed, it seemed to be working. And Figsy needed a lot of rehab. She's very, very shy of a lot of people. She's very shy of me. And I guess it didn't help when me and Freely were fighting because then Figsy saw me as like a, just, you know, as an enemy or whatever. Uh, but Figsy's definitely come a long way uh, towards me and, and getting to know me and stuff like that. She's very, very social dog now. So I feel it's important for Figsy's evolution, constant evolution, that she's is surrounded by people such as myself or Tori or whoever's in the neighborhood and wants to you know hang out with figs in basically with figs you gotta let her come to you if you chase her around she'll she'll run off That's how dogs sort of work so timid dogs let them come to you give them some snacks and if they want a little scratch give them a scratch but definitely don't chase them but what should happen to figsy i mean freely sold her house on gumtree recently so she doesn't have a place fair enough but uh what should happen to figsy um it's a good question, isn't it? I think Fizzy's in a good situation now. She's got another little dog and uh, they're staying with my friends. I just don't think that Freely should have any say on who Fizzy gets to, to play with or go for walks or adventures or even staying overnight at someone's house or whatever. As long as they're going to give Fizzy a good time, I don't think I think I don't think that's fair that Fizzy should be policed like that. It's like it's it's Fizzy the Fizzy, you know. Fizzy's always watching, so I think it's best for the little dog to have variety and fun and entertainment because for dogs they can get bored easy and having a dog man is a massive massive commitment so the motivation for these videos is just basically like I always do share what's going on in my life man I share it you know I share it man the, the, the ups the downs the, the dramas the conflicts it's not all just hey guys fake and shiny on this channel you know sometimes I get angry sometimes I get pissed sometimes I get sad sometimes elated sometimes I'm grandiose so I show it all on camera for people to take it or leave it uncut, uncensored, boom, put it out there. A lot of people are afraid of really putting themselves on the internet because they're afraid of criticism, afraid of rejection, and I understand that. But what should we do with Figsy? Uh, I feel that it's best that people be aware of the responsibility of owning a dog. You know, you can't just get a dog, breed it, and then fuck it off once it's... They're not, they're not like disposable things, man. You know, they're not like, hey, I'm going to get a dog for YouTube. Hey, guys, i got a cute little doggy. I've got the same job as Den of Marbles and uh, Kylie, Jen Kylie Jenner's got an Iggy. Like, it's just... That, that, that's, they're not fucking handbags, man. They've got their own little personalities, their own little companions. So if you're going to get a dog, understand the responsibility of being a dog owner. I remember when I was 12, I lived in Nambour, Queensland, and my mum was working at the hospital, or she was at the hospital for some reason that day, or the cafeteria, I can't remember. She was there anyway, and... My mum being mum, she's always talking to people and, and always considerate and a person was admitted to hospital and he had this little Kelpie puppy and they're like, well, your dog can't come in the hospital, this is a hospital, it's like a sterile environment, we can't have dogs in, you're going to have to find someone to look after the dog and the guy was crying, he's like, I've got no one, man, I've got no one to look after my dog. My mum was there and she's like, hey, look, I'll look after your little puppy and when you're out, here's my number, give me a call, we'll give him back to you. And so we had this little puppy for, I don't know how long it was, a, a few days or a week and it was great, man, it was like a Kelpie puppy, it was really cool and it was so friendly and and I was like, Mom, Mom, can we, you know, when, when we got the dog back, I'm like, oh, Mom, can we get a dog? And she's like, you know, I know you had fun with the dog, Harley, but it's a huge responsibility, you know? 
and she told me all about the dog you know the dog lifestyle and she goes you know we you sure you want that and i'm like oh you know a lot of dogs but that's that's you know that's that's probably a bit too much responsibility i think i said those exact words as a 12 year old but i you know i think mum put them into my mind and she sort of understood where i, I understood what's involved with a dog but it's a huge responsibility man it's they're cute and they're cuddly and they're fuzzy and you know people oh so doggies are so cute but man it's it's like kids man it's a fucking lot of work not as much work as having kids but most people just get a dog man the novelty wears off it just fucking sits in the garden and just buy it bored all day by itself you know or with another dog and they've got two board dogs or ten board dogs or whatever so understand any pet you have be it a cat or a bird or a rabbit or a fish or anything maybe not a fish but but even you know, the idea of having fish in tanks is just fucking stupid man really like fish should be fucking free anyway that's another discussion but what should happen to figsy what's the lessons we learned from this open for discussion i think that figsy should have as many play friends as possible like all dogs man dogs just want to run and have fun man they want to sniff dogs bums or just run around even timid dogs they don't want to socialize that much they want to run figsy loves to run man and so it's good if, if you've got as many if, if figsy's got as many training partners as possible that's fucking good that's a win in my book that's a win in my book what do you think down below let us know Figsy, what's Mama doing, Figsy? Mum's getting naked. <laughs> Figsy, there's big guns, Figsy. Look, there's big guns. Figsy's a oh, Figsy bit my hand then. Oh, Figsy, yeah. He wants a Figsy doing. That's a really good view, that one. Figsy, Figsy, eat your little breakfast. Where's your little strut? That one's on? Where's the GoPro? Don't wear the GoPro. It's not. Where's the GoPro?